<laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to share with you my you could say aesthetic room makeover. So I had a lot of spaces in my room that I just didn't like and here we go and I will show you how everything changed. Let's get right into it. The first thing is my desk space and here you can see the before and as you can see I still have a lot of art going on and I really like my desk and I did before but I wanted to change things because I was not completely happy and I just wanted to change things up and just add more so that it looks cuter. And one thing that was really really bothering me was my desk chair because this chair I've had since my childhood and it's so dark because of my cats and stuff you know it and here's the new one I think it looks very pretty it's very girly I know but I love it so much so after I got a new chair I also wanted to change up the wall of my desk because I want that to look always pretty and that motivates me so the first thing I had to do was to get rid of a poster that I've made for studying because I already had that exam and so I didn't need it anymore so I just hung up the ones that I still need and just like rearranged it and took off all the paintings that I had on my wall and also my Polaroids so I had more space to do that and just like rearrange the stuff that I already had. And one thing I want to mention here is that the way you see my desk right here is not the way it is going to stay because I was going through phases where I was like, oh, I want to change that, oh, and also this I could change. And so I will show you all in this video, but just keep in mind, this is also not the way that it's going to stay. But for the art above my desk, I had this drawing that I've did a while ago and I always hated it like I liked how the nose and the mouth turned out but I somehow just hated the eye don't ask me why and I was always looking at it and I was just ah, I hate it so I just cut it and like made it for me prettier and then I also got a clock and a cute neon sign for my desk because I have already two fairy lights at my desk but I never really had a clock in my room and yeah I have a clock on my desk in general but you can see it really much if you're in my room and so I needed a clock that you can see everywhere else and also I, I thought that it would look just cute above my desk and more like these it's like a pretty study gram clock I would say I've saw so, I've seen it so much on Instagram and I found it on Shein actually and then I also had this cute neon sign because I just wanted to have more light going on. I don't know, I am really obsessed with lights, with fairy lights, with everything. So I got that and I think it looks very cute and also with the other lights going on, I think it matches just my room perfectly. And then I just had to bring up the rest again, so my little lettering quotes and my Polaroids again because that was a part that I loved about my desk and that's also something that won't change. I will keep them, I don't know, forever in my life. So that was it what I did for like my part one of my desk makeover because at that point I thought that I was finished, haha, huh? I'm not. <laughs> but here you can see something like a temporary result. There are some things that are going to change on the wall but that was like the biggest change on my wall where of course these lights and the clock and I think it looks very very cute especially at night and I'm very very happy with it but it will change a little bit. Because the next thing that I did was paint a new painting. I don't know, I just always hated the girl that I've painted because it looks very off with the proportions and stuff. But this one, like the girl looking in the sky, I just love it. Also, I got a new like desktop and stuff. So I still use my laptop, but I have it connected to this monitor and it just makes everything way bigger for me and way better to look at, of course. And so here's like my finished desk. I also got Got a new keyboard which has some light <laughs> again I just love lights and stuff and I think this turned out to be a very very good workspace and I love it also for studying and stuff I think it will be perfect now for the next problem in my room I've had this space right beside my desk that's not really big so I never really knew what to do with it I just had some boxes with stuff that I wanted to sell and then I had this idea that a hanging chair would be a good idea in my room and my dad was kind enough to hang it up for me because I'm not able to do that <laughs> and so I now have this hanging chair and I think it is so cute for reading and stuff and it just makes my whole room look so cozy 
But also here, I wanted to add some lights <laughs> because it wouldn't be my room without some extra lights. And I just thought that it would be so cute if you are sitting in this chair and it's nighttime and you can just have some fairy lights. And so I got these. These are also from Shein and they have these leaves on them and I think they look very like fairy core inspired and it looks very very cute together and I love it. I also tested it already and it is just perfect for reading and because I love fantasy books so I just love it. It's perfect together. for something that was a big change in my room so I've had this dresser for I don't know how long I've had it for years and years but since I was getting older and I wanted to do like makeup and just getting ready in the morning I needed something to sit on and that is just very impractical with this dresser so I thought that I wanted to get a new one so I first of all had to get rid of this dresser and I'm not very strong so I had to get help. My mom was kind enough to help me get this thing out of my room because my room has a little step so it was almost impossible to get it out of the room because I still will use it in another room but not here. So yeah, here you can watch me struggle with the whole thing and also my mom arguing with me because I have the tendency to do these things at night. So like in the evening I just come down to her and just say can you please help me? I have to move the dresser and she was a little and also here's my little cat that was there to help not <laughs> but she's cute so yeah of course the next step was to build my new dressing table which I did all by myself <laughs> and it wasn't really that hard I also did it at night and I was having a lot of fun <laughs> no I just wanted to get rid of it and it was kind of hard to do because it was something that I've never done before but I like how it turned out in the end it's a very small table because my room is very very small and I don't have that much space but it's perfect for me I don't own that much makeup or skincare stuff actually but I still wanted to have a space to do that kind of stuff and I think that turned out pretty good so here you can see what it looks inside as I said I have some makeup but not that much <laughs> and here's just the whole table and I think it looks very good in my room because it's not big and it just I have this space now and it is white and just matches my room and also matches the mirror that I have above it so yeah I'm very happy with how that turned out too. Now lastly what I still did was um, reorganize my shelves that I had in my room because they were very ugly and also the thing that I did with my dad again was to paint them in white. I couldn't really record that because I did it with him and he doesn't want to be on camera. I really don't want to s anybody to see my face so it was really hard but here's the story that I've posted on Instagram so you can see it looks much cleaner with white because most of my things in my room are white and also for decoration purposes I got some frames for these shelves and they are still empty. So I am still thinking what I want to put in there, but I want it to be art and I want to draw something for it. So maybe that could be another video on this YouTube channel so you can tell me in the comments what you think about it in general. I would be very curious what you think about my whole room, the before and after and whether you like it or not. And yeah, that's it with this video. And of course I would be more than happy if you would subscribe to my channel and stay around. And yeah, I will see you soon in the next video. Bye bye, have a nice day!